Hey, what is going on everyone? Last Gen here. And today let us talk about 3D.Game Heroes, a game that has been out for nearly 13 years and ironically is only available on the PS3. Looking back at this game, I had a lot of fond memories and for a game that was underrated during its time, for some reason, I can't understand why this game has not been given an HD port. I definitely have some potential ideas, but to keep this video organized, we'll talk about the following. One, what is 3D.Game Heroes? And then two, we'll go over potential reasons for the lack of an HD port. With that said, let us begin. It is the year of our Lord 2009, where there was a number of anticipated titles released, like Uncharted 2, COD 2, and Final Fantasy 13, to name a few. But there was one game, underrated as it may, that was hanging out on the side from the bunch, and that was 3D.Game Heroes. So, to start this off, let's begin with what is 3D.Game Heroes? To keep it as brief as possible, 3D.Game Heroes is an action RPG game on the PlayStation 3. The story has you play as a descendant of the brave hero who once sealed away the Dark King. Various events start to unfold, which causes the seal to break that frees the Dark King to reign tyranny across the Kingdom of Dotnia. As the hero, you'll be tasked to locate the Great Sword, collect the Mystic Orbs, which were used to seal the Dark King, then take on the Dark King. The game's story is fairly simplistic, but acts as an homage to the old school Legend of Zelda franchise, in gameplay style, but with unique 3D block aesthetics. If you're a fan of the old school Zelda games, then you'll feel right at home with this game. As mentioned earlier, 3D Game Heroes is a PlayStation 3 exclusive game developed by Silicon Studios. And depending on the region, was published by Atlas in North America, From Software in Japan, and South Peak Games in Europe. The game was released as a disc only on November 5th, 2009 in Japan, and on May 11th, 2010 in North America. Overall, review scores during this time were very good, averaging at or around 8 out of 10. Back then, there were rumors swirling on a potential Xbox 360 release of the game. However, this was quickly addressed during an interview with President and CEO of Silicon Studios, Takahiko Tarada, in March of 2010, which he stated the following. If people are waiting for an Xbox 360 version, it's not going to happen. It's not a problem with technology, it's the strategy of the publisher. He continues on to say, from Software published 3D.Game Heroes in Japan. Atlas is publishing it in North America and have said in a press fact sheet that 3D.Game Heroes will be a PlayStation 3 exclusive. Seeing this game is still on the PS3 to this day, I bet they meant that literally. According to a Famitsu article, 3D.Game Heroes sold 17,300 units in Japan by the end of 2009 and sold 160,000 units worldwide. Atlas USA reported this was six times the amount they had originally anticipated. So that begs the question, why hasn't there been an HD port or re-release of this game? 3D.Game Heroes was very well received by many, units sold during the time were higher than expected, yet this game remains elusive yet exclusive on the PS3. One possibility for this was the low sales number in Japan back in 2009. In the same interview back in March 2010, Mr. Tarada was asked about the initial impression and sales of the game in Japan. The question asked was, in Japan, 3D.Game Heroes seemed to get a lot of press attention, but how do you feel about the sales now that the game is released? It wasn't as good as we expected. The economy isn't as good now. Also, the game market is not taking new games. They're looking at the big titles and not trying new games. That may be one reason. There could be some truth to this, as the economy was not in a good place a year prior, due to the stock market crash in 2008. However, one of the common criticisms with Dot Heroes was the game length, that it could be beaten in 12 to 15 hours. Add a few more hours if you want to platinum the game. In the game's defense, this was likely intended to emulate that nostalgic feel of classic games in the late 80s, early 90s, but this wasn't necessarily admired by modern gamers. At the time of this recording, the only means of obtaining this game is through resellers, which this game can fetch a pretty penny at or around $60 for a used copy. However, based off of what we know so far, one can be certain that this decision would have to come from the publishers, Atlas, from Soft and South Peak Games. What do you guys think? 
should 3D.game heroes be given the re-release treatment into the next-gen platforms like many other games around this time? Let me know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.